To use noise calc for far field simulation, several preconditions have to be met. You need a PC running Windows 7 or higher, the latest version of ArrayCalc, and an internet connection. While multiple terrain data sources such as Google Maps and OpenStreetMaps can be used, we'll show the software with Google Maps. To prepare an ArrayCalc project for NoiseCalc, the NoiseCalc reference point has to be enabled. This setting can be found within the ArrayCalc project settings on the Advanced Features tab. The reference point is needed to compare the SPL within the audience area, typically at front of house, with the emission level at a given off-site location. To move the reference point, use the coordinate fields beside the 3D plot. Make sure that all acoustic settings of your project are as intended for the show. Then save the array calc project and open noise calc. On the project settings tab, select the calculation standard first. This is important because it affects all following parameters of the workflow. To obtain project information from an array calc file, please press here. Change to the editor tab. Noise calc will prompt you to set the area of interest either within Google Maps or OpenStreetMaps. As a recommendation, select a larger area representing an overview with limited resolution first. You can import a more detailed patch later. Now it's time to define acoustically relevant terrain features. As a hint, features which are close to the PA or to emission points of interest are the most important ones to enter. Select Ground Effects to define surface properties. Simply click along the outlines of a patch of ground. Double-click to close the surface. After that, set the ground factor. Zero means hard ground such as a road. One means soft ground such as a patch of grass. If there are mixed types of ground, choose the ground factor that fits best. Mitigation areas such as forests or brushery can also be defined. The creation process works very much the same. Select the tool, then click on the bitmap to define the area and close the element. After that, enter an average height for the vegetation. Create walls or buildings to include reflective or screening effects into the simulation. These objects are inserted and adjusted in the same way as before. For detailed information about these parameters, please have a look at the help function. Most of the time, it is enough to create a building with right angles only. If you require different angles to define a building, simply disable the right angle function. Having created all surrounding elements, set a desired calculation area. Now it's time to import the sound source. Use the file dialog box to select it from your hard drive. Click into the mapping to place the stage. The insertion point relates to the origin of the array calc coordinate system. Use the control to adjust the orientation if necessary. After that, select an excitation signal spectrum representing the expected program material. Several spectra are available, from generated standard noise signals to typical responses of pop, rock or traditional German brass bands. Now enter the expected level at the reference point here. In this example, we will use 90 dB. Prior to simulation, environmental conditions have to be specified. Then press Run to start the calculation. The result will be shown in the graphic plot. The legends can be modified by clicking on them. The result can be exported as a bitmap for further use.